Good afternoon and we've come to walk around Annadale water and get some landscape photography. Why not come with me? Well, good afternoon and you find us back in the Lake District this time and we're out for a walk. We've come to Annadale Water, which I have been to before, parked in the same car park I parked in last time, but last time I then went up and round various mountains because I was um, doing the Wainwrights, um, so I went along and round and then dropped back down. So I thought this time we would actually just walk around, have a walk around the lake and see what we can find. It's quite pleasant walking around the lakes. And I think from the information board, if I remember rightly, it says it's about six, six and a half miles, which it says would take four hours, but I don't know, we'll see. It depends how many images there are to be had and how often I stop and that, but yeah, that's today's plan, just something a bit different. A nice leisurely walk around water. And the weather's reasonable, it's a bit on the warm side. So we'll see how we get on. But anyway, yep, that's what we're doing. And we'll see you a bit later. Right, well, we've been walking along the the path on the, I suppose you'd call it the northern shore of the lake and we're getting to the point now where we've come past the head of the lake and we're going to turn to go over the river and to the southern shore. Now it's a bit dark here but if you look ahead, now I believe this is the route of the coast to coast that I would have come along back in 1980. And there is Ennerdale Youth Hostel, and if you carry on going along, you come to Blacksail Youth Hostel, which is quite a, a well-known one. It's quite remote. And I, th I don't know whether I've certainly taken pictures of that, whether I've done a video of that, but I'm not sure. So, yeah, it's very difficult videoing in this sort of light when, if you're in the wood, it is extremely dark. And then you come out into the bright sun and it's the complete opposite so so yeah so this is the river um i'm not sure what the river is i should have um, taken note from the map obviously that's going to the mountains and i think the mountain somewhere around here is pillar um when i get home i'll look at the map and work out what's what and if there's any significant ones, I'll put them up on the on the video. And then that's the river going back down down to the lake. So yeah, it's um, as I say, it's a bit difficult videoing when the the light does vary so much. I mean, when you're just taking an image, you can get your settings in line. But when you're videoing moving and going between light and dark it is quite quite difficult so yeah right anyway haven't seen much yet that I'd want to uh, capture but um, we'll carry on and we'll see you a little bit later right well we've not come much further from when we came across the river which is is just down there and I was just walking along here and I was thinking that would make quite a good panorama. Which, um, yeah, I mean, I think the one slightly hidden in the background, but poking its head out, I think that is Pillar. Um, but as I say, when I'm at home, I'll get the maps out and, and probably work out what's what. But I thought it would make a good pano, so...
yeah we've, we've set up the tripod there and um, yep you'll see me taking the various images right well, we've got it set up for the first frame of the panel or the first image of the panel and I tend to work from right to left so we're out pointing right although I have and I'll just do it again just to we'll just loosen it and we're just spinning it round just to oh doing it the wrong way loosen it spinning it round make sure that the the histogram is is all right all the way around which it is so what we'll do is we'll focus it and just move up a bit and focus so we've got it focused and as is my want i'll take three one two three images of each one and then we're just gonna come round and we're going to be overlapping by about a third on each one so yeah all right and that's all the images captured so yep <laughs> having got all the images and i can't remember how many i've taken now We'll get them home, we'll stitch them together, see what it's like, and we'll put the, the panorama up on the video. It's not going to be the best ever, because the, the sky is... Well, virtually, it's not, there are one or two clouds, so it's not totally um, nondescript. But it's not the, not the best of skies. No, I'm certainly not into sky replacement on the computer. So, So, yeah, that's quite a good one. We'll carry on round and we'll see where we get i was debating um but i won't video if i do of whether to take one in that direction we've got and it's quite bright there well, we're probably getting a bit overexposed of the the mountain which the name escapes me and of coming down to that sort of craggy outcrop and then the lake I was debating whether to see whether it work here or whether we just carry on further round and then get one further round. So, yeah, whatever happens, we'll, as I say, we'll put the image up and we'll see you a little bit later.
Right, we've come up with another composition. As we're walking along, I saw this wall and my mind immediately thought leading lines. So I've come down and when I've got down there as well, there is some, if we just come around here, there's some stones as well. So you can see I've set up the camera there and what we'll do is we'll video through the camera so you can see what the composition actually is. Right. And here we can see the view through the actual uh, stills camera. And just to be remind you that on the video on this camera, it's 16 by 9. Whereas when I take the image, it will be th um, 3 by 2. So this is slightly narrower. There will be a bit more. I mean, I may end up cropping it. Um, but we can see, yeah, we've got the the hills in the distance we've got the the lake there and then we've got these stones here that almost act as a leading line and what I first spotted was the wall there as again a leading line now hopefully it is quite dark but hopefully in post processing I can lift the shadows there the rest of it is pretty well exposed so so yeah I mean that that was the idea and I have got the polarizer on if I'll show you the difference if we take that polarized if we go unpolarized you can see um, or if we turn the polarizer how much we lose being able to see through the water and I quite like seeing the water through there so yeah so so that's the image we're taking and yep yeah. right so having seen the composition through the camera I have taken a standard um, image with the whatever the settings were um, without any filters etc apart from as I have mentioned I have got the polarizer on so I took that I think it was about a, a 25th of a second if memory serves me correctly but um, if I do put that image up we will see the um, the settings on the screen anyway I did put the 10 stop ND filter on and we did go to 30th or 30 not 30th 30 seconds just to try and smooth out the, the water so what I may do as I have been doing recently because it's on a tripod is show the both images possibly panning across one image then showing that with the the camera settings and then fading into the other image so yeah so that's quite nice so we'll we'll put the image up and then we'll head on around the lake i think we're just about halfway round at the moment so anyway we'll see you a bit later
Right, well we've come up with our final composition and we're now at the bottom of the lake. We've come past a weir which should have seen on the B-roll and we're now at the bottom. So there's the camera and we're basically looking straight down the lake to the mountains and not dissimilar in a sense looking down to where we took the first image when we crossed over the river we were down at the end of the lake at the head of the lake there so so yeah it's um the path round this side has been quite um undulating and quite rocky so but we've made it and we're we're now just got to get back to the the van which is probably over over that way somewhere and i don't know if i zoom in and i'm not quite sure but it's it's in that general direction so yeah it's not too much further so yeah as with the last one we've taken an image at the, the standard settings which would have f11 100 iso and it was a 40th of a second and then we put the 10 stop nd filter on and taken a 30 second image so not quite sure which one will come out best we'll put but we'll put them up on the video and we'll see you a little bit later Right, well, we've made it back to the van. Um, I actually meant to stop and do this closing piece at some picnic benches that I thought were marked on the map, but they didn't seem to be there and I was back at the van, so we're doing it in the van. It's been a good day. Um, according to my GPS, we walked 7.3 miles, which is reasonable. The, the first bit was quite easy because it was... Um, almost a road but coming around the other side was quite difficult um, it was up and down and there was lots of rocks and root tree roots and that so in places it was slow going and in places it was uh, bordering on climbing coming down just short stretches nothing nothing horrendous so but yeah I mean it's a nice place excellent place for a walk not a huge amount of um, images to be had but I think we've got four different compositions so hopefully you've enjoyed those um, and if you've enjoyed the video please uh, click the thumbs up and if you like what I'm doing why not subscribe it does help uh, I am trying to grow the channel but it's going very very slowly at the moment and yeah the other thing if there's anything anything at all please do comment if you like something let me know if you didn't like something let me know if you've got a question ask me and i will answer i do answer all comments even if it's just a thank you for the comment and yeah i want to i suppose i want to apologize i think that these last few weeks i've been struggling um i'm not quite sure why they haven't been sleeping right but there's been a bit of at times a bit of brain fog so things haven't gone some of the videos aren't as smooth as i'd have liked and etc so what will we'll, hopefully will improve and the next few will be quite good so yeah i don't know what what the plan is for the future with the the brain fog it's almost been a case of oh i need to go out where shall i go which was the case today i'd planned to come out but i just couldn't get my brain in gear to to come up with somewhere in last minute i came up with the idea of um 
and Adair Water, which is where we've come. And it's yeah, it's been a good day. And I think that's that's probably it. Uh, you'll have seen them. I'll have put the map up of where we've been. As I say, it was 7.3 miles. And yeah, an excellent day. A good place to come just for a walk. As I say, there's no epic um, landscape compositions to be had in, in my opinion but there's some nice ones hopefully you, you think the images I've taken are, are, are worthy of looking at so yeah we'll, we'll stop rambling there and we'll see you on the next video